Whenever we think of general repairs of everything from leaky umbrellas to punctured bicycle tires, broken windows to damaged luggage, even temporary patches to would-be expensive auto repairs, it is difficult to think of anything that would suit the task more easily and cheaply than the ubiquitous silver-colored wonder fix, duct tape. This simple adhesive product has become so deeply entrenched in modern life that it has even taken its place in pop culture around the globe. There is hardly a place in the world where you won't find this incredibly versatile wonder tool. In fact, this product has become so indispensable that it even made its way to the moon, where it still remains today holding a makeshift fender in place on the Apollo 17 lunar rover. According to NASA, duct tape has been stowed on every mission since the early days of the Gemini program. In 1970, when an explosion crippled the Apollo 13 command module, the square CO2 scrubbers in the failed command module had to be modified to fit round receptacles in the lunar module which was being used as a lifeboat after the explosion en route to the moon. A workaround used duct tape and other items on board Apollo 13, with the ground crew relaying instructions to the flight crew. Soon, the lunar module's CO2 scrubbers started working again, saving the lives of the three astronauts on board. Ed Smiley, who designed the scrubber modification in just two days, said later that he knew the problem was solvable when it was confirmed that duct tape was on the spacecraft. But fixing things is not its only use, and as duct tape's versatility became obvious, artists began to find uses for it in their creations. Soon galleries began featuring the collections of artists like Slava Ostap, Max Zorn, and Kerry Mott. The Duct Tape Guys, Jim Berg and Tim Nyberg, have written seven books about duct tape as of 2005. Their best-selling books have sold over 1.5 million copies and feature real and unusual uses of this wonder tape. The Canadian sitcom The Red Green Show's title character often used duct tape as both a shortcut to proper fastening as well as for unconventional uses, dubbing it the handyman's secret weapon. The series even spawned the feature film Duct Tape Forever. The popular Canadian series sometimes showcased fan duct tape creations. Steve Smith the actor who portrayed the red-green character, has even been dubbed the ambassador of Scotch duct tape for 3M. The Discovery series Mythbusters featured duct tape in a number of myths that involve non-traditional uses, including repairing, and eventually replacing, the skin of a lightweight airplane with duct tape and flying it a few meters above a runway. On February 10, 2003, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security recommended that Americans should prepare for biological, chemical, or radiological terrorist attacks by assembling a disaster kit, including duct tape and plastic, among other items, which led to a surge in the demand for duct tape. But most of us have probably never given a thought to how duct tape came to be and how its invention was for a very different purpose on the battlefields of World War II. The idea for what became duct tape came from Vesta Stout, an ordnance factory worker and mother of two Navy sailors who worried that problems with ammunition box seals would cost soldiers precious time in battle. She wrote to President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1943 with the idea to seal the boxes with a fabric tape which she had tested at her factory. The letter was forwarded to the War Production Board, who in turn put Johnson & Johnson on the job. The Revelite Division of Johnson & Johnson 
had made medical adhesive tapes from duck cloth since 1927, and a team headed by Revelite's Johnny Denoy and Johnson & Johnson's Bill Gross developed the new adhesive tape designed to be ripped by hand, not cut with scissors. This tape resisted water and was used as sealing tape that could be used to keep moisture out of ammunition cases. This is why the original duct tape came only in army green. The first material called duct tape was long strips of plain cotton duct cloth used in making shoes stronger, for decoration on clothing, and for wrapping steel cables or electrical conductors to protect them from corrosion or wear. In 1902, steel cables supporting the Manhattan Bridge were first covered in linseed oil, then wrapped in duct tape before being laid in place. Adhesive tapes of various sorts were in use by the 1910s, including rolls of cloth tape with adhesive coating on one side. White adhesive tape made of cloth soaked in rubber and zinc oxide was used in hospitals to bind wounds, but other tapes such as friction tape or electrical tape could be substituted in an emergency. In the US submarine fleet, this adhesive cloth tape is called EB Green, as the duct tape used by electric boat was green. It is also called duct tape, rigorous tape, or 100 mile per hour tape, a name that comes from the use of a specific variety of duct tape that was supposed to withstand up to 100 mile per hour winds. The tape is so named because it was used during the Vietnam War to repair or balance helicopter rotor blades to correct for a mass imbalance which would cause in-flight vibrations. The correction was done by wrapping one or two turns of a two-inch duct tape around one blade, a few inches in from the tip, so that it won't be so easily torn off by the wind. A worsening of the vibration during a hover test meant the tape was placed on the wrong blade. Once the correct blade was determined, further tape was added, in amounts depending on the severity of the vibration, until a final best balance using half wraps of tape was obtained. So the next time you reach for a roll of duct tape to seal a leaky drain pipe under the kitchen sink or a hole in your favorite raincoat, stop for a moment and give a thought to the soldier on the battlefields of World War II who was able to continue to fight because of a strip of duct tape that held the magazine of his rifle in place or a reinforced boot for an arduous patrol through the jungles of Vietnam. Think about the Navy corpsmen and Army medics who were able to quickly close a wound so a soldier could be transported to a field hospital, where doctors and nurses use surgical tape as they work to save lives. These are the people from all walks of life who suffered the pain of progress.